Hey, I'm Taylor. I've been leading an alternative lifestyle for the last two years. From living in a van to living on a sailboat. With my guitar by my side along the way. Subscribe to follow me along this wild adventure that I call life. What's going on? It is tattoo time. We are here at 1711 Tattoo Studio and I'm about to get my fourth tattoo. And uh, you guys will see what it is in a minute. So this is my friend here, Juan Lopez. He is uh, the owner of the shop. Yep. Yep. And uh, so senior tattoo artist here. He does some really amazing work. So again, this shop is called 1711 Tattoo Studio here in Puerto Rico. How long have you been doing tattoos in your shop? Uh, in the shop, seven years about. I'm doing tattoo for 25 years, 26. It's longer than I've been alive. <laughs> I went in the day before for a consultation to discuss the design. And today we were just fixing a few small details. So what do you think? It's awesome. We made a few small little changes here and there, but now it's absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna set the area and okay. start. This gives us a general idea of, because I don't want it like right on my arm, and I don't like it too close to the back of the, like right. the back of the arm. Are you nervous? A little bit. I'm, I'm, I think I'm more excited than I am nervous. I'm gonna shave my hairy arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put this thing to the first. We did the stencil, I got it how I like it. Now there's no going back. I love it though, I really love it. Not that bad. Changed my mind, I'm backing out, erasing it, no more. <laughs> so how do you like the tattoo? Well, I love it. I mean, it's hard to see with the wrap on, but he did an awesome job. I really love it. We spent the rest of the weekend exploring the beautiful city of Old San Juan in Puerto Rico. Old San Juan is well known for its history and its beautifully colored buildings lined along old brick roads. We're not even phased at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. No, stay straight. Stay straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Look at that. Look at that beautiful picture. You, you, you get it. You, you. <laughs> oh my god! This is so weird. I didn't expect this surprise. You don't expect that. Tell you how tough you feel for the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone, I'm giving you an in-depth tattoo tour today. We're gonna start out with in order of when I got them, so oldest to newest. I figured it's kind of relevant because I just got my newest one. We'll start out here. This tattoo is my very first one. I got it in Ontario when I was 17. And uh, it's the flower that's on my grandparents' gravestone. The next tattoo that I got is this one. It's an Alberta wild rose. So I got that in when I was 19 in Alberta, Edmonton. 
And I got that to represent the entire time that I spent living in my van out there. It was kind of just a time of independence and learning and growing, so that kind of represents that. Then the next one is the one that's on my back. I also got that when I was 19. Uh, me and my best friend traveled to Thailand. And so that one was the most painful by far. It was done with a bamboo stick, so it's a traditional Thai tattoo. So it took a very long time of like stick and poke, very painful, but that one is a dharma wheel. Basically, happiness isn't the absence of suffering. You can never get away from it, and true happiness is accepting the positive and the negative sides of life. So that's that one. And then my newest addition is this one here on my shoulder that I got here in Puerto Rico. And uh, it actually is of a necklace that I am not wearing it right now, but it's of a necklace that really means a lot to me. I've had it for years and I've hardly ever taken it off. Um, and it's funny, I actually lost it for like six months, didn't know what happened to it. And then after um, the winter passed and spring came, all the snow melted and I found it sitting in my driveway after six months. So that one's really important to me, it means a lot. And it's probably one of my favorites because it's the newest one and yeah, I really like it. One of my biggest recommendations about getting a tattoo is look up your individual artist. So you can look at a shop and, and usually they have multiple different artists. And so it's hard to tell if you just went into a shop and were like, yeah, I want this tattoo. You really don't know how it's gonna turn out. You really want to know your artist, check out their Instagram, see if you really like their work. And that's a better way to be able to tell if you're gonna have, you know, a good tattoo that you're happy with in the end. So thank you for joining me on my tattoo tour. All right, I just wanted to add a little note in here. Um, I know tattoos can be like a really controversial subject. They're not for everybody. Um, and if you're a person who doesn't like tattoos, that's perfectly okay. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's different. Everybody has different opinions. Um, just please don't project that onto me. Ultimately, it is my body and it's my decision whether or not I get to regret my choices. So uh, if you don't like tattoos, that's totally cool. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying you should get a tattoo. I'm not trying to tell you you should like tattoos or anything. I respect that everybody's different. Um, and to people who do like tattoos and are thinking about getting one, um, you know, I'm not a professional here, so I'm not, obviously I'm not giving any sort of professional advice. Uh, I'm just giving a recommendation, sharing my personal experience. Uh, and I always recommend that you do what's safe and best for yourself. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please, hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to see future videos.